<laughs> yeah, boy. Yay! Done this. <laughs> hey guys, it's John from Lyat Net. I uh, hope you guys are staying safe during the MCO. Oh, God knows I'm trying to do that. This video will actually be taking a very quick look at something that arrived in the mail for us and it's actually this. It's the Western Digital or WD Blue SN550 M.2 SSD. So a very quick look and explanation as to what's so special about this particular SSD is it's that it's the first NVMe SSD in the blue lineup. Typically, the blue lineup doesn't actually come with NVMe speeds. NVMe speeds means that you get speeds beyond 5 or 600 megabytes per second. NVMe speeds like this one in particular, the one I have, is the one terabyte capacity. So, in regards to the performance, there's really not much else I can say about it. The speeds that you get with the SN550 is as advertised. If it, it says 2400 megabytes per second, so you're pretty much getting that speed. The right speeds for these sort of SSDs actually, for this SSD in particular, varies because it comes in three different variants. There's 250, 500 gigs, and obviously the one terabyte. At one terabyte, the write speed is rated at 1950 megabytes per second. That's 1950 or 1.9 gigs, up to two gigs. So it really varies. Whereas the other two will have, uh, you know, will have write speeds between uh, 950 for the 250 gig, 500 gig is slightly higher, 1750 megabytes per second, 1750. Depending on what you're transferring from to and from on the on the SN550, it really varies. If you're transferring from a basic non-NVMe SSD, don't be surprised if your speeds actually only cap or top up. At, top out at uh, 550 or 600 megabytes per second. If you're transferring from another NVMe SSD, it should be faster, but do note that it, it also slows down according to the, to the file that you're transferring. Pricing for the WD Blue SN550 starts from 219 ringgit for the 250 gig. Bumping it up to 500 gigs, you, get, you have to pay 355 ringgit, whereas the one terabyte capacity storage that I have here, that will set you back 589 ringgit. Now, to be fair, it's not terribly overpriced. It's actually remarkably uh, well priced, affordable and reasonable even. But I would be remiss if I didn't mention that for a little bit more, you can find options that are faster and more bang for your buck if, the, if, I, if that's to be said. Uh, one such example is actually a brand called PNY. Most of you, I'm sure, would know that brand. That has an SSD that performs uh, slightly faster at three, you know, 3.5 gigs uh, read speed and 3 gigs write speed. However, with the WD uh, Blue SN550, the one terabyte capacity specifically, at 589, you're getting not just the SSD, you're also getting a, you know, software solutions that allow you to monitor the SSD the storage drive here uh, more efficiently and on top of that you get WD's uh, five-year warranty. Should I consider getting myself the WD Blue SN550? Uh, the answer is it really depends. If storage capacity isn't the name of the game here and you're just looking at a 250 gig or uh, 500 gigs but you, what you really want is faster speeds 
I would recommend you instead go for the WD Black lineup. The speeds on those SSDs are actually more consistent between sequential read and write. They're not as uh, varied between the WD Blue. However, if storage and high capacity NVMe SSDs, well in this case, just above average NVMe SSD speeds is what you're looking for, then I do recommend the one terabyte capacity WD Blue, primarily because of its price point, its price performance uh, ratio, and the affordability of it. So there's been a quick look at the WD Blue SN550 NVMe SSD. If you guys like the video, uh, do hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.